I'd like to start with a riddle, and that is, what do you get when you cross a elephant and a rhino? Elf, I know. <laughs> so, I guess you can kind of tell what part of my topic is about, but the main part is um, that kids can do anything that they set their minds to, or anything that they believe in. Um, my sister Brady and I are super lucky. We've been able to go to Africa a few times, or in a more specific, Burana, which is a place in uh, Kenya. And the Dyer family have been telling us about the poaching problems there. And around this time last year, we uh, decided to stop hearing about this problem and decided to do something. And we found three steps to that, and that is what is the problem, what is the goal, and how can you help, or how can I help? To explain a little bit more, problem that we found was poaching and the reason why it's a problem is because these animals could be gone by the time we Eagle Brook students are out of college which is hard to believe and hard to think of because they're just super amazing animals and super amazing I just think they're super cool and I wouldn't want to live in a world without them um, what is the goal the goal that we have is to raise awareness for these animals uh, for them to live safe and not be in any harm of being extinct and to raise awareness for the rangers who are these people who risk their lives every day to protect them. It's super hard to become one of them too. You have to go through like a series of training. It's like being a really cool army guy that basically trying to protect these animals. So as I said, we couldn't really keep on hearing about it uh, so we decided to try something, and we heard this Swahili phrase, which is right here, which I don't really know how to pronounce, but after I learned my Latin class here, I kind of want to learn how, but in English, it means you don't know what you can do until you try. And the name Crash and Herd is pretty simple, because Crash is a group of rhino, and Herd is a group of elephant. So after that, we uh, made a website for it, and it shows a bunch of items that we sell and events that are going to happen soon. And we try to get people to sponsor us by going in our town in Virginia and knocking on local businesses' doors and trying to get them to sponsor us. And we learned that probably about only one out of 100 people will say yes. Um, but after we got enough people, we were able to host a movie night as our kind of kickoff event. And we showed the movie The Lion King because Disney was inspired by the people in Burana uh, because they thought it was just a super amazing place like we thought. A fun fact, Pride Rock is actually called Frog Rock because if you stand in a certain spot, it looks like a frog. So uh, then we decided to sell items with these women in Africa. Yeah, here's one right here actually. and. What's different about these here is that they're all one solid color. Uh, and the reason that is because in their culture, they all mean different things. Uh, red means strength, black means unity, blue means nourishment, yellow means fertility, white means purity, and orange means friendship. Uh, so a lot of people will tell us that it's, this is something too hard for us to do or that we shouldn't even try to do it and that we're too young. But I want to say thank you to a bunch of other people who have helped us, and these people are Miss Dixon, Huey, the Dyers, Sam, and Mr. Cooper. And so thank you for encouraging us. And the Salamander Resort has been a super big sponsor of us because they've let us host a 5K race there. And it took a lot of work, just like hosting this TEDx talk, but it took a lot of work, and about two weeks before we even started it, only 16 people signed up, which is just hard to think of because it takes that much work. But after about, once it started, uh, over 100 people came, and that just felt really good that this many people care and believe our problem too. Um, and this June, we're also hosting a second annual in the same spot. Um, and we're also doing a bunch of virtual runs, which are, you can run anywhere you want, anywhere in the world, basically. And you will go to the website, type in how far you ran, how long it took you, and we'll send you a medal to 
thank you for your support because every little bit helps. Sort of to bring it to full circle, my sister Brady and I aren't any better than any one of you. We don't have any special potion or sauce or anything. We just found a problem and made that our goal to solve that problem. And we want to make sure to not let being a kid stop you from achieving your goals. Uh, if you find a problem, go for it. Because after all, you don't know what you can do until you try. Asante.